The Reloaded Podcast is a fictional podcast using real-life subjects. It will be offensive to overly sensitive, safe place individuals. If you are easily offended, don't listen. You've been warned. Another day in a podcast. Another day drinking. What day don't we? True, my liver is going to be ready to leave this earth before me. So I got some great subject matter today. Oh, yeah? I was sitting around drinking with this guy, Jason Mansfield, and he gave me a great idea. I'm assuming you've seen Forrest Gump. Oh, yeah. I love that. I love how many things he invented by accident. It's a fun movie. And Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Yeah, those Oompa Loompas scare the shit out of me, Tom, like clowns do you. That's pretty bad. Maybe we should take all of them, stuff them in a building, and blow it up. Tom, no! Clowns ain't funny, John. That's all I'm saying. Still, you can't go terrorist on their creepy asses. They belong in the fucking sewers. Okay, you know Forrest Gump's girlfriend, Jenny, right? Yep. And you know Grandpa Joe from Willy Wonka? Sure do. Let's see who's the bigger asshole. Asshole? Exhibit A, Jenny. This bitch comes in and out of Forrest's life, only when she needs shit. Oh, wow. Never thought about that. Exhibit B, Grandpa Joe. He's as crippled as can fucking be until he gets a chance at chocolate. Then that motherfucker's dancing like Fred Astaire. Does Fred Astaire dance, Tom? I don't fucking know. Sounded good. Again, it went by me, but I'm listening. First, let's go over this Jenny bitch. Her and Forrest were good friends as kids. Like all kids, we grow apart and go our own ways. But while Forrest's simple ass is going to college, into the army, Vietnam, Jenny is fucking everything that isn't nailed down. I don't remember those scenes. Trust me, they were on the periphery. If you say so. On top of that, she's shooting drugs on a constant fucking basis. She came in and out of Gump's life the way dicks of every size, shape, and color are entering her ass and pussy. And it's usually because she needs something. Guy is beating her. She needs somebody to talk to. Has nowhere to go. She needs fucking Forrest. Maybe she feels a little guilty and shows her retarded friend her tit, makes him blow a load in his pants. Forrest finally gets his fucking dick wet and this bitch has full-blown AIDS. And now leaving the luckiest fucking idiot on the planet in charge of another human being. Apparently, Forrest didn't get the AIDS. I don't know. They never gave us a sequel. I'm really shocked. She really did just use him. And whenever she need him, the dirty whore dumps into his life. That's fucked up. Well, while this cum dumpster was getting grudge fucked by Black Panthers, hipsters, and fucking flower children, Grandpa Joe was presumably sucking off the government tit while laying in bed with his lazy wife and in-laws. I always did find it a little strange that they all laid together in bed. Maybe only the Oompa Loompas in that movie were a little creepier in that situation. So you have this either disabled or lazy fucker who can barely get his ass out of bed until Charlie wins a golden ticket. Then apparently chocolate was just what the doctor ordered. Because he's up and dancing, ready to go to the chocolate factory with little Chuck. I guess Jenny is... Not done. Sorry. Continue. Grandpa gets to the fucking factory. And we see Wonka walking out. Kind of with a cane, really pushing it. And then he falls over. And this motherfucker has the fucking gall to say he was faking it. Holy shit. They get inside, and Grandpa sees kids in fucking life-threatening situations, including that bitch that blows up like a fucking blueberry. He doesn't even bother calling the cops or saying fucking stop. Maybe he was afraid of the little tiny midgets, them fucking Oompa Loompas. Maybe he was, but after all this, he gets fucked up on the fizzy juice that makes you float. and almost gets him and little Chuck killed. Also fucking up the entire system there, touching everything. Now they gotta sanitize it. What a dick. Well, he didn't fuck Chuck over with AIDS. True. But he also loses his shit when Wonka tells him he gets nothing. He said he would get even with him if it's the last thing he did. So was he gonna just sell the gobstopper to Slugsworth? Or whatever the fuck that guy's name is? Or was he just gonna break Wonka's legs, mafia style? I like to think the best of people. 
but probably mafia-style legs broken. Also, when they're in the shrinking room, I think her name's Mrs. Teeves or something like that, she's screaming, someone's touching her, someone's touching her. Now, we don't see anything, but considering Grandpa Joe has a shady past, laying in bed probably finger-fucking the in-laws, I wouldn't put it past them to grab a handful of some unfamiliar ass while the room is playing as a distraction. You have presented quite the case, Tommy. I'm not sure which way to go on this. On one side, you have a slutty bitch who's taking advantage of her slow friend, only coming back to him when she's fucked, from swallowing and taking so much dick in every orifice, and sharing fucking needles in the process giving herself AIDS, if it wasn't from her being a fucking cum dumpster. And then she dumps her little bastard on Forrest. To be fair, the kid probably was his. He was dumb as fuck also. Okay, fair enough. Then you have this gutter trash, lazy fucking bastard, who apparently is only motivated by chocolate. Since taking care of his grandson wasn't a fucking priority over getting out of bed. He fucked up just as bad as a lot of those rotten brats with the factory. And when he gets called, is triggered like a motherfucker. And swears revenge. Don't forget the ass molesting in the shrinking room. Yeah, you're right. So what do you think? I'm going to still have to go with Jenny. She's a user. Forrest would do anything for her. And does in the end. But she doesn't give a shit about him. Only a, I'm sorry you retarded, mercy fuck. And that's probably because her own booty call wasn't there. So instead of fingering herself, she used Forrest as some sort of retarded dildo. I'm going to have to disagree, John. Jenny's a slut and a bitch. She uses Forrest whenever it's fucking convenient for her. But Grandpa Joe's pathetic ass is a lazy drain on society. I mean, who the fuck is so addicted to chocolate it causes him to be disabled until he gets the opportunity to have a fucking lifetime full of chocolate? That son of a bitch was a lazy mooch. If Charlie didn't bring back that last ticket with the money, he probably would have beat his ass to death to collect some insurance money so he could stay in bed and diddle his wife and fucking in-laws. Keep in mind, John, none of these fucking ideas are original. They got whole groups on Reddit and these other fucking channels. People who hate Grandpa Joe. Jenny isn't as hated across the internet, but she should be. She's a fucking junkie whore. How's about we just assume they're both fucking assholes? There's a tie. All right, I'll drink to that. See you fuckers next time. Yep, cheers and beers. Hey, if you like what you just heard, please subscribe to Reloaded, the Boston Brood Podcast. And go ahead and share that thing. Spread it around like herpes.